one of the questions I get sometimes from audience members is you want to show up online to spread your your messages and your services and products but you feel introverted and sensitive to criticism I don't know if you relate to that if feel free to comment below if you do relate to that um, so I want to share a few things here in this video that maybe will help you to start to overcome that first know that it is normal and by the way before I go on I just have to show you this dog I'm here filming this on a farm where um, there's a dog here and uh, this dog is so cute I just have to show show you this dog here hello <laughs> such a cute doggy okay all right and buddy is walking around here somewhere um, buddy my dog so first of all know that it's normal <clears throat> you are a human being you have we have evolved as human beings to be tribal creatures we for tens of thousands of years hundreds of thousands of years we evolved as a tribe okay you're as a human being you are you are your DNA has been built to thrive in a tribe and to suffer when you're out of a tribe and so back then when we were living in tribes if you got criticized from your tribe then you were in danger of being ostracized by the tribe which meant you would be shut out into the wilderness you know without food and resources and ability to survive and you could die and so we have this deep-seated fear of being ostracized and before that being criticized it's a very normal evolutionary fear you just have to train keep on reminding yourself that okay that was evolution I can be conscious now of the fact that criticism today is different I'm not going to be without well and I guess in some way if, if you're always being if people really don't like what you do always don't like then yes you'll be also <laughs> bereft of resources but the reality is that let me tell you what the reality is when you first start putting content online whether it's videos or whether it's articles you will be lucky if you got any criticism or any feedback at all <laughs> okay a lot of people have this fantasy that they put a video on YouTube or they publish a Facebook page and oh my god does that mean the whole world sees it now you don't realize that just about nobody will see it unless you do a really good job of promoting it and sharing it everywhere almost no one will see it even if you put your videos online and you get like 10 views or a couple dozen views it's very likely those people just viewed it for a few seconds and it was just one of dozens of things they viewed that day or maybe hundreds of things hundreds of articles you know they, they saw that day as they were scrolling through so the reality is that just about nobody will see your stuff when you first show up online and the second reality is that the comments you're gonna get at first are almost entirely positive comments probably are gonna be all positive comments because I know that you are coming from a place um, I mean given that you watch my videos you, we probably share similar values you're coming from a place of service you're trying to help in your content you're trying to uplift educate or inspire through your videos or through your articles right people sense that and so the comments you're gonna get are going to be supportive comments positive comments if you get any at all again okay so just know that that is the reality of having done hundreds of videos by this point and written hundreds of articles as well so um, be encouraged that uh, I know you are sensitive to criticism and I want you to know that actually most of that criticism is probably coming from within yourself within yourself it's your own self criticism so let me give you another tip for that you don't have to watch your own videos typically we can't stand seeing ourselves on video hearing our own voice we're shocked by it because we're not used to it but other people who are watching our videos or hearing our voice they don't know any different they haven't lived in our head for years decades and so they are just taking us at face value and they will be almost overwhelmingly supportive of us so don't watch your own videos you don't have to read your own articles and be critical of it just put it out there and let others be supportive of you now in the beginning you might want to be choosy whom you put it out to choose the most supportive friends and colleagues to share your content with at first don't just you know share it with 
people, you know, family members who might be critical of you, etc. Even on Facebook, you can be very choosy. Instead of sharing, you're posting something to all friends, you can post it to a specific set of friends. Even though it goes on your timeline, only a specific set of friends can see it. Learn how to do that. It's called friend lists on Facebook. So anyway, um, I'll end this video now, but I'll just say that don't be afraid to put your stuff online. You don't have to watch your own stuff. You don't have to read your own stuff, but other people will benefit from it. Okay, and you want more people to see it because the positive feedback you're going to get is what's your, what you're first going to get. And then eventually, as, you, as your content gets more widely known, you'll build a larger and larger audience. You become more and more immune to feedback, okay? And at some point, your audience will be large enough that you will get some critical feedback. But by that point, hopefully, you'll be, you'll be, more, you'll be stronger within yourself and you'll have some more perspective that, okay, the, the, as long as the feedback is mostly positive, it is a good thing you're on the right path.